So I want to use uh, to show you something. Uh, I'm gonna reload this, and I'm gonna go all the way back to here, 2020, uh, 2017. Yeah. So you can see right here, Bitcoin deposits. You can see right here a lot of Bitcoin deposits. You see that? And you're gonna see right here a lot more Bitcoin deposits and other and coins as well. And uh, right here, you're gonna see here I have a like a lot of devices. And here as well in 2018, I had around uh, 15 Bitcoin deposit to Bittrack. So I'm gonna tell you something, which is a story of mine. And uh, I lost all the money from crypto. And uh, I used to be a crypto uh, millionaire and this feel good. But I want to tell you more about the kind of story. It's not just about like how much money I make or how much money I lost, but the process, the story. That is just something I want to show you so that you understand that is a true story. I don't want to tell you a story and, and show up. I want to tell you a story and the process, the meaning, the values behind it. Because it's easy to tell a story. But at the end of the day, what does that mean? Is there anything that giving value? Is there anything that actually create a difference? Yeah, so let's just begin. Hello YouTube. So uh, this, uh, before we uh, begin, I want to show you uh, around like, uh, because it is going to be a uh, uncut video. So you can see that around me there are no thing. There actually, there are no way for me to actually see the script or story or whatever you, you want to call it. But I don't even bring my phone. so. I just want to use to understand that this video is just gonna be I, re whatever I remember, I'm gonna say it all because it, everything happened like uh, six years ago. So in 2017, so it had been a while. So it's not easy for me to remember everything. So in the last episode, I stopped the trading in uh, 2016, and eventually I. I decided to uh, copy trade and invest in the trader that I believe is a good trader. And I found them on uh, our party on MX, FX Open. But the best one I believe is Darwin, Dar Darwin Next. I think if you are, uh, I think you can find Darwin Next, they are actually a very, very good broker and very good uh, trader that you can actually invest. So. And don't worry, I'm not affiliated with any one of them <laughs> that I to told you. So I invest to like five or six trader. And after one, like every six months, I tr or even every month, I re-evaluate the trader and I allow my capital to another one or like depend on how they perform, I will keep like leaving my capital for them to trade or I will just pick a new trader which I would I believe have a better performances and better trading style yeah so after six months I got pretty good profit not a lot but very safe and some trader lose some trader win but overall I get like consistent trading profits every month every month especially on Darwin next I think if right now if i still leaving my ten thousand dollar for that trader to trade i believe it's gonna be six finger now with compounding interest so you can see that sometimes investing actually make more money than trading because there are people actually doing better than us and if we and it's really di difficult to find these people but if you can and you have a talent to actually see through the push you can actually invest for other to trade for you but be careful <laughs> you may invest to some somebody that might probably lose 
all the money that you uh, give them. So, so in 2016, everything I do is just giving money for other people to trade for me, and I just manage them through uh, a death war or whatever. <sighs> and uh, in uh, in 2016. At the end of the 2016, I actually travel a lot. And as you saw one of the videos, I traveled to Dubai, and then I traveled to Singapore. I shot a uh, seminar of Tony Robbins with like 10,000 people, all the global. And I'm still making money with my uh, online business and uh, with my uh, trading, with my investing. Because now, because at that time, all I do it on I were doing is just giving money for all the traders to manage and they actually do a lot better than me to be honest and eventually as around April or May in 2017 that's when I I met a guy in millionaire my seminar I think <laughs> yeah they a book called millionaire mindset and they have a like course and they have a like like conference that you you will be there with other thousands of people and and yeah you just study and have fun so i met a guy there and he told me about bitcoin and that's when so many things change i i i i stopped investing to other trader i actually take all my capital and I try to invest to Bitcoin because I really like that guy and I really also like the vision that people are talk was talking about Bitcoin in 2017 and at that time it was around 5,000 and <laughs> you need to stay with me because it is uncut video so sometimes I need to pause to remember stuff so that guy he he um, in 2017 I bought my first Bitcoin and then I I got profits as you and you already know in 2017 there is a bull run market and everything is just go up doesn't matter whatever you buy it's gonna go up and it go up like a lot <laughs> and I invest more. I use my saving. One other thing is I I never use my saving for anything, even trading. Even I am very very impulsive, but I never actually use my saving money for anything. They are just saving money for backing backing up my my life. And that's where I when I mess thing up. I actually invest all my money to Bitcoin. And let me tell you something. When you are a trader, eventually, the first year you feel like risking two percent is not going to make you rich. So you risk like five percent, ten percent. But the second year, the third year, now you start to see that now ten percent is out too much. So you're gonna lower your risk. Now it's gonna it's gonna be two percent, three percent, and maybe try to get into five percent. But in the five year, the fifth year. Or the sixth year, you're gonna think, man, one percent is too much, <laughs> because now you are being more re realistic. Not because that you you uh, study, but because your experiences, the outcome of your trading performance, is now telling you to back up. And that's the reason why I, I I was really low at that time. But Bitcoin changed everything. And one of the most dangerous dangerous thing in crypto is that it actually change your perspective in case you're investing you're gonna you're gonna make like 10 percent 20 percent a year but in crypto market for almost two years in a row you are gonna make like 2x in a day 10x in a week and sometimes thousand x in a fucking month so if it happened like just one month it's normal, but when things happen so regularly on a daily basis, you saw 
every fucking moon, every day, every moon boy, every project, every new con loading, every ICO, every <laughs> they all making money. And when you see something like that happen, the first time I saw it, I still have a, like filters. I still very very like like skeptical about what may happen. So I'm not risking much. But eventually, when I try to study more and when I really realize the vision and 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 you can see me is I really believing in the things that can actually help people. And when I heard about the undecentralized stuff, when I heard about blockchain, when I heard about how blockchain is gonna operate and, and, and how that kind of thing can actually change the world for the better, that's when I fall in love with the with the concept and that's when things rapidly shift in my perspective. That's when my I let my guard my guard down. That's when I fully believing in the future of Bitcoin. That's when I invest heavily and it fucked up my per perception because when you believe so much in something you're gonna be you're gonna invest very very hard it's like you marry to a trading virus you marry to a company an asset and you bring everything into it so now not only now i'm, I'm believing in bitcoin but it's more like i'm a supporter like like i try every community i try to like help the newcomer how to set up a method node for some kind of project like like i really trying to be part of, of the revolution <laughs> but the thing is you know every day the only thing i wake up <laughs> is i'm gonna have a calculator here i have a like this is this, this coin and now the price uh, blah 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 now let's you the coins i have multiple with the price now how much money i have and at that time every day i'm making like 50 fucking thousand dollars so it's like it takes me like a few months to hold the coins like strat or diamond or <laughs> some uncoins but everything go up in around no november or december that's where the crazy shit happened like Every day I'm making like one hundred thousand dollar, and is it cra is was fucking crazy. Like every day you feel like you make the right choice, and every day you believing that it's gonna go higher and higher because all the projects they like ten one thousand x, and this one this project I am in, they are only like ten x. So I'm gonna take partial maybe in the. 50x and then I'm gonna cut everything in uh, 50x like it was that crazy you, because one of the crazy thing you can do is changing your perception when you, when you when I saw it the first time I, I, I didn't believe the kind of thing but when I saw it every day and then when I saw people around me doing it and making money that's when things ship and that's where uh, I, 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 I lose my car and I for the first time ever, I use my saving to purchase a lot of Bitcoin and a lot of Ancoin as well. Because if you were into that kind of market, you are, you will like, Bitcoin is going too high, now let's buy some other coins, let's get into something and like, become the next Bitcoin, become the Ethereum killer or whatever it is, and eventually you're gonna go really, really hard on the kind of assets. And that's what I did. And, and and I got up to one point in November. I think I got to more than one million. And it's crazy. <laughs> and thinking back about it, I, I, I never withdraw anything. I just sitting there and when price starting to turn, when Bitcoin went to the to 20,000 for the first time, it slowly, slowly declined. But you're gonna see a lot of expert now everyone is expert everyone was expert in trading and now they're gonna analyze this like it's just a pullback it's just a swing Bitcoin here to stay Bitcoin has died hundreds of times it's gonna stay it's gonna go to one thousand one hundred thousand 
parapolic run or what, what, whatever they call it. And when you invent too much into one asset, that's when you want to seek for the, the idea or the group or the people that believing in the same shit as you, you are believing. And that's when our mind will be cloudy, our mind will be blind into the reality. I was not, I was not using any trading things. Even I was a trader. Even I was have a background of trading. But I, but I, but I don't like consider it as trading. I just hold, and I hold all the way from the top to all the way to break even. And you know when you hold to million, and then go back to break even, it's gonna be so hard for you to actually cut the trade, to actually cut that in investment and, and, and I couldn't. Even eventually I, I had to close it and I tried to trace things around, buying another con, just jumping back and forth and eventually just cutting the money piece to piece and yeah, at some point I had to stop and I, and one of the the hardest things for me in that phase is not only that I use my saving but also that I I try to talk to some of my uh, friends to actually to actually think about investing as well. But most of my friends didn't know anything about Bitcoin. They don't they don't even know how to buy a, a coin. But they but when they heard about the opportunity they really want to to invest because when you are when you never invest in your life and you heard that there's an opportunity to to make a difference in your finance that's when you really really want to to do something so i tried to help them and i basically just buying the coin and hold it for them and man it's it's easy when things just go up but when it's go down you you're gonna feel so fucked up because you start the investment, you, in, you start that thing with a good intention. But when now a, a, everything you it, everything turn over and, and, and now not only that I am not feeling good in my investment, but also I feel responsibility. Even at first I thought that I was doing a favor. I was just helping, but when things go down and you knew that this investment is not going to be good. And it, even they said, it's okay. It's okay for for me. Like whatever I do, they're gonna trust me and it feel even worse. So one of the crazy, one of the hardest things you can, you can do for yourself is managing other people's money when you are not ready. Because if you do so, good luck because I'm not doing it anymore. I, I clear everything. And if you think about managing other people's idea, I think the best thing is that you just try to trade with the problem, the problem challenge now, because it's not easy. You, because at, at, as a trader, when you, when we trade for some time, when we trade for some time, we have a tendency to believe that we are Good. especially when we are on a winning trip let's say you trade for one year with profits that's when you started to think that you made it and now you want to help other people you're gonna trade other people and you're gonna take every human being on your back and you're gonna carry them and you're gonna make money and make everyone around you happy but the thing is it's not like that you can share the con you can share their ex exper experiences and you can share your wi your wisdom the thing that you collected during your journey to where but but you you are not supposed to give money to everyone around you if they are not putting the necessary works because personally i believe it's like you are going against the the nature, the universe itself, like we're not supposed to do that, especially if we are not 
strong enough, if, if we are not good enough, if our energy is not big enough. That good intention that you want to help other people in your families, your friends, and you try to trade for them, and they don't know anything about trading. At one point, that's gonna mess up. And, and when that happens, no one can understand you, no one can give a shit. Because you, you cannot blame them because they don't understand trading. They don't see the process. Even they do, they will never understand it. The only thing people see is the result. And when people care so much about the result, it's just so hard for you to, 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 to do so. So I wish that if you are doing well on your own, fine, and you really want to make a difference, do something, but don't include the money. Don't do, include some, some, some cash, like just doing something like giving value, giving information, giving the experiences, giving the thing that you believe that is true for yourself. But yeah, don't trade other people's money, especially when you are not ready. I'm not saying that it is not possible. It is still possible, but it needs to be black and white. There are no emotion, there are no connection about like uh, mother and son or father and daughter, whatever. <laughs> You don't want any emotion when it comes to managing other people's idea. It's, when it comes to money, it's black and white. It's gonna be fair. It's gonna be like just straight to the point or get out of my room because you don't want to just getting around that money thing. And, and, and. So I think this video is long enough and I know that it's gonna be difficult for you to listen to the whole thing, but that is the beauty and the ugly of uncut video as well because I need to remember and it had been like six years so it's like a friend talking to friends and you can talk to me back in the comment section I will be very appreciate that um the kind of story it the most important lesson is don't believe in or marry to an idea, to a, a concept. Even it sounds too good to be true. Like it's not all about Bitcoin. I, I am not saying that Bitcoin has no future. I'm not saying that like any concept is wrong or right. But at the end of the day, you want to protect yourself with risk management in every single thing you do in trading. Either it's investing in Bitcoins or investing in penny stock or investing in blue chip stock or investing in trading with prop firm. Whatever you do, don't like marry to that idea and go too hard on it. Always keep something for yourself. And because even when you want to help people, you need to be fulfilled first. You need to be, your heart needs to be full with energy. So that you can spread to whatever you want. And that's all for today. And how do I, and how does that feel to be a millionaire? <laughs> Everything that I did was just calculating the money and going to gym, working out and have a fun living around. And let me tell you, I never bought anything for myself. I never travel at that time as well. So, maybe that also means that I don't need that much company. I don't need that much of, of money. If you are watching this long, I'm gonna tell you something. Most people, they're gonna say shit. Most people, they're gonna say a lot of bad things when they saw me lose. But there are also a lot of people are working from 9 to 5 shop. And I'm here right now, 10 a.m talking shit. <laughs> I need to have a time to do this kind of video. This kind of video make me like $2, $5, and YouTube gonna tax it 30%. <laughs> but I still love doing it and never underestimate 
a trader that survived this long? Never. Because you have no idea what people have been through and you have no idea what result a good experience can bring to the table. This year I'm gonna make it one of the best year of my life and yeah. Even I fail, I'm gonna grow so much as a human being so onward and upward from here. I see you on the next video. It's it's so long. <laughs>